It is the last day of September 2013, that's September 30th, and I'm in Palm Springs. I have just let my four cats out for pee time in the backyard here. They're having a great time looking around. <laughs> and I just wanted to put up another video with some Law of Attraction thoughts of the day. This maybe is not quite so the precept of Law of Attraction, but it's equally powerful, and this will teach you how to handle and tame your ego. Now, you know, ego is kind of an odd word. When I hear ego, my first inclination is to think of the classic, oh, what an ego he or she has. So into himself. Well, the actual, real form of the word is ego means anything that's not the true you. And that true you is that fearless knowing that you are part of everything, spirit, soul, whatever you believe in, you know, it doesn't matter if you believe in a soul or not. It's that part of you that is the genuine, genuine form of you without all the bullshit that we've grown up to take on or if you believe in past lives and past lives. The ego is all the parts of you that are that are out of fear, basically. And so, I found a great technique to tame that. So whenever you hear those voices in your head that start beating yourself up, or you embark on something that you think you can't do this, all those vampire voices in your head that come up, this is a great way to do it. Now, I got this as a gift, not intentional, from my dear friend Visa Fulton. Visa had her croaking experience, as Esther Abraham likes to say it about her ex-husband, Jerry, who passed away. It's just a croaking experience. In fact, she had her croaking experience about a year ago, actually, now. And I still feel her with me in a moment. In fact, I know she's with me here now, laughing and in that way Visa has, because she knows I'm going to tell her story, and she's so happy about that. So, we were going to see a movie one day, I was in Delaware, and on the way to the movie, she was just saying, you know, you know, Doug, this, this gal Betty has just really gotten in my way, I just, I'm so over her, and I started, well, who's Betty? Is, I mean, I've, I've, never, I've never mentioned her before, is she somebody that's, you know, somebody that obviously you don't want to know? Well, I don't want to know. She goes, oh, Betty's my ego. Betty is my ego. And in that moment, I had this huge V8 of, oh my God, that's fucking brilliant. To name your ego, especially to give it a name like Betty, kind of puts everything in this whole, like, that's the part of me that's not me. So, after the movie, we sat down for dinner at Applebee's. And I thought, I've got to find a name for my ego. So I went through all these names, none of them really stick, and then I realized, when I was living in L.A. and I had a goatee, which may be coming back at some point, because my ego loved that, I had a lot of people either think that I was, or that I looked exactly like Chuck Norris. Literally, some people thought I was. They said, hey, Chuck. And then I thought, oh my God, Chuck. Chuck is the name of my ego. And that when my ego gets in my way of myself, and I recognize that, I go, okay, Chuck, that's it, no, no more up Chuck, Chuck. Stop up chucking. So, it's a great way to, whenever you live in fear, just say, oh, that's Chuck. I don't need that, Chuck. Or, you know, you can talk nicely to Chuck, you know. Thank you, Chuck, I don't need you now. Or, you know, shut the fuck up, Chuck, I don't need you. Right? So, I invite you to find a name for your ego. But it's got to be right. And I would maybe suggest that it's something a little fun or funny, like Betty or Chuck. You know, something that kind of puts a light name on it because something heavy may not work for you. Maybe it will. I'm not here to tell you what to name your ego. But it might be a fun way just to see if you can grab those moments of fear, name it, it separates it from you, becomes not a part of you, and you can just 
toss it aside and be the real powerful you that you are. How about that? So, this is me and Visa, and Chuck's over there somewhere, like wishing he could be in here fucking my whole world up. And I say goodbye to you for now. Find your ego and, you know, post it, post it on YouTube here for me. I'm curious what you come up with. Okay, there's your mission. Doug Graham here with your word of the day.